This study uses functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, to understand the problem of habituation to security warnings. Habituation sets in with repeated exposure to a warning, making it effectively invisible. Some people think that those who don't pay attention to warnings are lazy or careless, but in reality, habituation is a fundamental part of how our brain works. That with multiple exposures to a stimulus, our brain automatically devotes less and less attention until the stimulus becomes part of the background, like wallpaper. Using fMRI, we observed habituation as it occurs in the brain. fMRI measures changes in blood flow within the brain as an indicator of brain activity. Inside the fMRI scanner, we repeatedly exposed participants to a wide variety of security warnings. We found a sharp drop in activity in the visual processing center of the brain after only a few exposures to warnings, indicating rapid habituation. We next set out to design a warning that was resistant to habituation. So in order to reduce habituation, the warning literature recommends that warnings should be varied or modified or even updated. So we looked to the literature in computer science and found polymorphic warnings as an option. One of the things that we did then was came up with 14 variations that we could use to modify the warnings so that people would pay more attention to them upon having each of these variations. So for example, one of the variations was to add a triangle with the exclamation point in it. Another variation was to have a red background instead of the standard color. We also added a couple animations. One of them was a zoom, so the message starts small and gets bigger. The one that turned out to be the most effective was actually what we call the jiggle, where the message comes in and does a little side to side and that actually forces your brain subconsciously to pay more attention to the warning compared to the other times that you've seen it. We then compared the occurrence of habituation for our polymorphic warnings with conventional static warnings that don't change their appearance. We found that attention remained significantly higher for the polymorphic warnings. So as individuals are, are watching static warnings versus polymorphic warnings with repeated exposures, what we see is that attention regions in the brain, the posterior parietal cortex, maintains a high level of activity for the polymorphic warnings, but that that activation drops off for the static warnings, indicating that individuals are habituating to the static warnings, but not the polymorphic warnings. We performed a second behavioral experiment to test these findings in a more realistic setting outside of the fMRI scanner and on participants' own laptops. In the experimental task, participants searched the web for browser extensions to install and evaluate. Each time an extension was installed, a permission warning was displayed. In this way, participants were naturally habituated. Half of the participants received a polymorphic permission warning, which we implemented in the browser. We then used mouse cursor tracking to unobtrusively measure the rate of habituation. Mouse tracking can be used as an indicator of attention. For example, when someone is reading text, they often follow what they're reading with the mouse. But even furthermore, if they see information or other stimuli that captures their attention, even if they don't move the mouse to it, uh, their mouse trajectory becomes biased towards that information. And so as it becomes biased towards that information, it deviates from the most direct path to dismissing the warning. And we can measure that deviation through things like the area between the most direct path and their actual path. A variety of mouse cursor tracking measures corroborated those of the fMRI experiment, showing that habituation sets in quickly for static warnings, but occurs at a substantially slower rate for polymorphic warnings. In this paper, we show that not only do users have to worry about attackers, but they also have to cope with their own biology which in the case of habituation is working against them in their effectiveness in responding to security warnings.